Hello everyone, I'm back with another great video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Beagle Inu. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor, you should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, as always, all the links are going to be down below in the description. So feel free to check the website out for yourself, which I highly suggest you do. Now we are currently on BeagleInu.com. This is their main website, we're going to go through it and we're going to take a look at their testnet with staking. So let's start with the website. So Beagle Inu is a fully decentralized, zero emission, and fairly distributed community-driven token, disrupting the meme economy, aiming at protecting the environment. Now, if we scroll down, we can see some about information about Beagle Inu. It says many dog meme coins have been launched after Dogecoin like Sheba Inu and Akita. But none of them have had the power to be eco-friendly and to protect the environment, by supporting the main activists in this field, as well as the good causes that matter the most to us all through its strong green community. A wise man by the name of Elon once said, who controls memes, controls the universe. We will be happy enough to make the world greener with the power of the memes. So what makes Beagle Inu so special? The Beagle Inu is a token on the Binance smart chain, which aims at setting up a carbon neutral economy with a sustainable crypto development thus reducing the emissions and the subsequent carbon footprint that stems from mining. The Beagle Inu is a non-profit organization fully governed by its community. The power of the Beagle Inu is to gather together friends with its shill wow power, and it will inevitably become famous by word of mouth, inviting the community to share memes and a good laugh to protect the environment. There is no dev token. Moreover, all Beagle Inu holders will earn more BIC through token holding, Two out of 10% tax fees will automatically split to your wallet. The whole liquidity is locked in PancakeSwap, and the ownership of the contract has been sent to the burn address. So here are some of the milestones. So they were creating the logo, the social contracts for the BIC tokens in this phase of the roadmap. Marketing stage one is in process right now. Then they have the audit plus clear YC. Press sale on pink sale. Next up, they have the listing of the BIC token on PancakeSwap, and they have listings on centralized exchanges, which is interesting. Then they have staking with high APR and more coming soon. So regarding this staking, we're going to take a look at that in a second. But rolling over here are some of the websites that you can check BIT token on, and moving over to the tokenomics, which is a very important part of any project. So transaction taxes is 10% on buys, and 10% on sales. This fee will be used to finance marketing, development, charity fundraising and hold a reward. Automated delivery will follow below rate. Marketing funds 3%. Development funds 1%. Charity fundraising 2%. Hold a reward 2% and buyback and listing fee 2%. And obviously they do have social media platforms, so check them out on Twitter, Telegram, and you can subscribe to their mailing list. Just input your email over here and click subscribe and you'll be receiving emails from the team. Now moving up on the website, let's go to the ecosystem. You can click the explorer here if you want to check out the Binance Smart Chain Explorer and check out the holders, the addresses and everything. Then you can click on the staking dApp, which is if you click on it, it will take you to testnet.biglenu.com. So it's still in the testnet mode and you will be able to connect your MetaMask, and obviously this is in Testnet. So for those of you who don't know what Testnet means, it's basically currently in development or in better mode. So that's regarding these staking. Obviously they did say that they're going to have high APR staking, which is something that users can always enjoy, and that is pretty much it regarding the project. Guys, this looks very interesting to me. I will definitely keep my eye on this project. So if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you all for watching. We're going to see you in the next video. Goodbye.